And when I thought about how much I love playing Hungry Hungry Hippos, much like you, think about the first time you got together and you pulled out this game and it was incredible. And you opened up the game and you had that just glorious moment when you read the instructions. Do you remember that? Like some of us can say, oh my gosh, I remember that instruction. It was like, it was a two-fold pamphlet. It was gorgeous. It may have even had diagrams. Was that the first thing we thought of? I know, right? I don't, I, don't, I don't know that I ever read the instructions for Hungry Hungry Hippo. I'm not going to lie. A lot of the methods we're using today, when were they written? 70s, 80s, right? We study the models, right? Here's, here's great training. Here's great presentation. Now, if that sincerely means we as trainers could not come up with another good idea for 50 years, I believe we can do better. And I think our business climate demands that today. Listening Donna actually always makes me think. Uh, she has tremendous insights that um, really give you the clues that you need to uh, organize your leadership and uh, bring it all on point so that you can really serve your people to the best of your abilities. So as we talk about this uh, tech and training 3.0, what's going on in education? What's going on in our business? I'm going to introduce ideas and then we're going to touch them. We're going to do stuff. It will likely be uncomfortable. Much like you feel like your fingers in you are no longer friends, you're going to think your mobile device or your cell phone has turned into the enemy. We're going to change relationships to that. We're going to spend some time on user-generated content. We're going to spend a little bit of time on gamification, do some stuff with micro-learning, and we're going to dabble a little bit into what's going on in the world of uh, augmented reality. Donna's presentation style is my flavor of crazy. Uh, she has a way of, of pulling you in uh, with the way she sets up what she's trying to say, really relating it back to you, getting you to think about how you can apply it uh, in what you're doing. Uh, her, her way of getting uh, interaction from all of the other attendees makes it fun to be in the room. You want to be present. You want to participate. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. When participants say 41% of my workday is spent on things that, frankly, are not fulfilling, rewarding, or have a point. Yeah, we have an engagement problem. Um, it's like being in a boat where you know there's water coming in, and you're like, if I stop shoveling the water, man, the boat's going down, but someday I have to stop shoveling the water so I can plug the boat. And the person says, hey, you look stressed out. Do you want an umbrella? No, no, I do not want an umbrella. So we kind of have to redesign and rethink about what's going on in the life of the learner, and how do we meet the needs at the point they are. Um, relevance and problem solving become big, big deals. One of the things I really, really love about her is that uh, she ha builds an easy rapport with um, everyone that's in the room. I think she has um, just expert knowledge in what she does. And uh, I find that to find comfort in that, that, you know, what she's sharing with the team is something that um, I can learn from and I can grow and I can develop. When the chips are down, when there's change, when difficult things are happening and you have to be the keeper of hope and belief, that's one of the phrases we use frequently, we're the keepers of hope and belief. Um, people also have to know that they are right to hope and right to believe, and that comes from confidence and trust. I always look forward to hearing Donna speak because she captivates the entire audience. Her voice and the way she speaks just brings everyone forward in their seat, and we can't wait to hear what she says next. Our attendees have walked away from these conferences and been really wowed by, by everything she presents. And she has a fantastic sense of humor on top of it.